no heavy metal maidens and masters. I'm heavy metal mama. And I'm heavy metal hubby. And together we are wild stallions! <laughs> 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 His idea. <laughs> it, 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 it has to be done. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> and as you can see, we have a special guest, Heavy Metal Hobby. <laughs> Today we are doing a men's kill star haul. But before that, remember to like this video, comment down below if you want to discuss anything that comes up in the video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, hit that notification bell so that you can find out every time I upload. And welcome. So today we are doing a men's kill star haul. Now, obviously, I don't wear men's kill star because I am a girl, and I think all the men's kill star would be too big for me. So I enlisted my lovely hubby, who owns a few pieces of men's kill star, uh, and I thought that he can uh, give you his thoughts because there are many videos on fellas kill star, and you know, it needs to be done. So. The first item that we have today is the Rob Zombie Collection Super Beast Long Sleeve Top in an extra large. So, take it away, sweetheart. Tell me all about it. Uh. <laughs> Tell me all about it. Yeah. I thought you were asking questions. <laughs> so, here we have the men's Super Beast Long Sleeve T-shirt. It has a baphomet on the back with Solve and Coagula, don't know what that is, on the arms. Uh, it has the Rob Zombie Killstar on the bottom. It has a very nice print on the sleeve of a Baphomet. Super Beast on the other side. Super Beast on the other side. So, tell me about the fit. Uh, yeah. What's the length like in the body? Well, I'm six foot five, so, you know, I, I find a lot of things this narrow and you know, not long enough in the back. Um, you know, you reach up and stuff and it, you know, you show your pants off and stuff. So crop top. Yeah. <laughs> Secretly he loves a crop top. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> um but no that, that fits really nicely. I mean it is an extra large, so obviously, you know, you'd expect that, but it you know, it's a good length. Um if anything it's a little long, which I really like. Um yeah, I mean it, it fits really nicely, the sleeves aren't too tight. What about across um, the shoulders? Does that fit well or Yeah again, I mean I'm quite broad and um yeah it, it, it sits quite nicely. It's um you know it's not it's not it's not tight anywhere, you don't feel sort of constricted at all. It's um yeah, so it's, it's a nice fit. And tell me about the sleeves. I know sleeves are very important to you. Well yes. I don't, I don't like a sleeve where you can't roll the sleeves up. The whole the whole point of a long sleeve is you can you know if you get hot as, you can, as can be see, demonstrated see, yeah you can roll yeah. the sleeves up so um, if they're really really tight um, and some of the long sleeves I have are you can't roll your sleeves up or if you do you end up cutting the blood circulation off your arms and they go blue so I don't like a, the sleeves to be really really tight and and that that works really well it's you know you could roll it up quite quite happily so yeah that's and it. how would you say it has fed in the wash really well um, I mean this is uh, I don't know I mean I've had it. Good at Christmas. Yeah, so you know, six months in now almost, um, you know, and it's and it's still proper black still. It, it's not faded at all, um, and I really like that. You know, the, has the, it shrunk up? Because I know that is the main problem with no, those, like, no. Again, things. but I think it's, it's a nice, it's a good thick material, so it's, it's a it's, very good thick woven jersey. Yeah, so. yeah, it's uh, it's not it's not you know sort of shrunk at all, and and the white stayed really white, so it really pops still. It's um, yeah, yeah. Sometimes they go a bit pink, don't they? Yeah. It hasn't. And it's not lost any of the detail. Nothing's come off. It's not. You know, it's still. It's you know, it's um, it's a really nicely made top. Yeah. yeah. I must admit, we only own black clothes. I wash the children's clothes completely separately because all the children's clothes went a bit grey when I washed them with our clothes. So we only own black. There's no chance of a red sock getting chucked in because we don't own any. So <laughs> the only thing that dyes things red is is, is this. So <laughs> so. That was the Rob Zombie Collection Super Beast Long Sleeve T-Shirt. So, on to the next one. This is the Rob Zombie Collection Hellbilly Hockey Jersey. Again, in an extra large. So, tell me about the length. Um, it's really, really long. <laughs> yeah, it is ridiculously long, isn't yeah, it? I yeah, mean, again, yep. six foot five, and it's it's really, really long. You know, that is the fashion, and and, and I like, mean that's the point of a hockey jersey, isn't it? It's yeah, supposed yeah, to be it's supposed to be really long. baggy and really long. Um, it's almost a little bit too long. It's um, the fact that it says on the website that this is unisex, which I was like, can you imagine if I'd bought one of these, I could wear it as like a, a long dress. 
Yeah. You know. Yeah. 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 Well, you get lost in it. Yeah. You really? Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, I wouldn't have bought an extra large, but you no. know, still, I think I yeah. doubt it, it. It shortens much. I suspect it just goes in. Yeah. So yeah, yeah it is mega, mega long. Yeah. It's um. Yeah, it's a good fit. It's really comfy. Um, obviously, it's really loose. So you know. Yeah, it's, it's a very um, loose fit, isn't know, it? Um, what know. about the sleeves? Sleeves are really good, you know, um, again, baggy, so you can roll them up, that's, you know, that's, that's... Yeah, they cover your hands, don't they, the sleeves on this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. although Killstar, where are the thumb holes? Yeah, come on, we love a thumb hole! That, that would, you that know would, how I feel about thumb holes, Killstar! That would rend itself really well to a thumb hole, because it is that long, <laughs> um, so, you know, that, that's, that's, I'd like a thumb hole. Yeah. The, the hood fits nice as well, it doesn't... And the hood's lined, I mean, this yeah. is lined in jersey as well, this is a beautiful hood, and it's got a, a drawstring here, so yeah. that you can, you can shut yourself off from the world and Indeed. hide. But it doesn't sort of sit like up here somewhere, it like, it like, you know, it, it goes over your head. Face. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's, um, yeah, it's good, it's good. Yes. There we go. It also has these metal, I don't know, they're putting them on everything now, these like D-ring metal details on I the shoulders. Know, I've thought. probably got like three or four dresses that have got these on and a lot of them I have no idea why they're there. But they look cool, you know, it's an added little feature, it says Killstar on it. But yes, um, how is this washed? Um, yeah, not great. I mean, the, the black's still very black and stuff. I, I mean, yeah, all right, so it's, it's mesh, so this, this pattern's going to, you know, come off a bit. Um, but it has lost some detail on the blood splodges and all the rest of it. Um, I'm at, well, you can see it's there. It's flaking off here. My, my the real so issue see. with it Hang is... On, let me just show. It's flaking off there a bit. And... Um, there's also the sleeves. It sticks to itself and then tears off. Yeah, so if you look see it it's stuck to itself like that in the wash and then when we pulled it apart so I would suggest if you're gonna get this when you wash it to get it out of the machine immediately and hang it up I think this probably got left in, left in the machine while I was at work mm. um, and probably didn't get pulled out for a few hours so. well, I, don't even, I don't even think if you washed it inside out it would have any diff make any difference well no if, if it, it would be worse if, 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 anything, yeah, if yeah. that touches itself because I did think about putting it in a laundry bag because I put a lot of my clothes in laundry bags, mm. but I actually think that would probably make it worse because well, it would be more likely to touch see, I mean, it itself. Is, it's proper welded itself together. Yeah, you know? I mean, there's, yeah. No, there's no pulling that but apart. This is like a sort of thermal transfer, transfer. so that is a shame, but um, yeah, it's um, it's a beautiful top though. So oh, it's really cool. That, it is it, really cool. You I know. Mean, and you say it's quite breathable, isn't it? You wore it on holiday. Oh yeah, I mean it's you know it's mess. I mean you can literally wear it with nothing under you know nothing else underneath, just with a pair of shorts. Um, you know, and it's quite good in that regard because then if it does shorts, shorts, shorts for Scott are basically ankle grazers on everybody else. Scott doesn't wear shorts that go over the knee. Scott wears long trousers. <laughs> Scott wears crop trousers <laughs> and calls them shorts. <laughs> My shorts. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, this is our little ongoing in joke. <laughs> she lies. It's all lies. Um, but yeah, it's um, you know, um, well, when we were on holiday, it was it was good because you know the wind got up, it got a bit chilly. You can just drop the drop the sleeves and um, you know, it's uh, it's quite versatile in that regard. So. Yeah, yeah, it's a beautiful yeah. top and it does look really good as you can see. So yeah. yeah, very nice top. Right. So the last clothing item is the. Grave Boy button up shirt. Again, extra large. So, this one, what would you say about the length of the shirt? Because this allegedly is a soft touch, a long length, and fitted shirt. I mean, it's long enough. I don't I wouldn't say it's long. I mean, on you it's not long, but then no. most shirts on him are, you know, after a few washes are short, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, the pattern's really cool. I don't know if you can see. The pattern is definitely a. a it's you know, a, a very cool point. pattern, yeah. I really, you know, that was one of the reasons why I got it for him was the the, the kind of awesome pattern. Um, the, what about the sleeves? Because again, shirts and the sleeves are the thing that are is an un, un, an unsticking point for for you. Again, they could be longer, if I'm honest. Um, you know, if uh, full extension, they they are. You know, they I could think be if longer. you were a, you know, five foot five foot eleven guy, they'd be fine. Yeah, but because yeah, he's six foot five, nine. they yeah. are fine but it would be nice if they were longer but you know it's just a nice going out shirt isn't it it's just yeah. a little bit extra a little bit extra but it's, not like it's different i think that's what yeah. i like about it most yeah. I mean, the details really really nice you know there's all sorts of little stuff in it you know you keep finding little things yeah, you had noticed before there's an illuminati eye and there's yeah, a moon yeah. here yeah, and there's, there's a ouija board there's a hand there and... um the wash wise it was weird the first time we washed it so when we got it it was 
really black, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean the the the, the pattern was certainly a lot more. Um, it was it was it was almost like it sucked in light. Yeah. But then when we washed it, it went kind of shiny because at first I was like, oh my god, I've ruined it because it kind of looked a bit grey to begin with. But I think that was just the the detergent yeah. reacting with the print or something. Well, I think I think it's taken you know any sort of matting off. Yeah, of that, so I it's gone shiny. It has gone shiny, and perhaps the black's lost a tiny bit of its. But I like it like this. I, you know, I well, like. The more uh, I think now. it makes the pattern more obvious. Yeah. But um, yeah, don't be shocked if that's what happens. I have to admit, I was like, oh my god, was I supposed to have washed this cold? Because I just wash everything at forty. If it doesn't survive, then it's tough. You know, <laughs> sorry. He works in the building site. I work in a blood lab. I'm washing at 40, you know, <laughs> so it needs, to be. it needs to be washed at 40, <laughs> you know? so uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's it's like stuff in the dishwasher, even if it says it's not dishwasher safe, it's going in the flipping dishwasher, so, <laughs> you know. Even if the cups come out of weed shape? Yeah, yeah, all the children's cups are really bizarre <laughs> shapes now, <laughs> like, one of them's like an oval instead of a round cup, it's kind of Hilarious. Yeah, 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 it's fine, it's just for drinking water. But uh, yeah, no, this is a very smart shirt. You look very smart, but a bit gothy in it. You know, it's like that thing of you can wear it to somebody's wedding and nobody's going to go, oh, what are you wearing? Yeah. To be honest, we oh. kind of do that anyway at weddings. You know, everybody's like, oh God, here they come. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a smart shirt and it's a, you know, gives you that little bit of an alternative edge, but it's not like in your face crazy weird. Yeah, so yeah. The only thing I would say is the, is the pattern makes it a bit, it feels kind of stiff. Yeah, it definitely makes the, 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 the material feel slightly thicker. It's not quite as soft as, you know, that you can, it's just, but then I don't know whether it's just that it's a very thick quality yeah. material it's not, as well. It's not a bad thing. Yeah, it's just, it's, um, it's not, a, it's not a, a thin, you know, Asda dress shirt. Yeah, you know, when, you, when, you, a, when you wear it out and when you get home, you don't wear it, you don't leave it on to chill in front of the telly, you change it. But it's no. not a lounging around watching telly no, type no, shirt, you no, know. No. It's it's for a function. So, last but not least, we have the Rob Zombie Lurker coffin wallet. So, as you can see, this has the Rob Zombie detailing on the plaque at the front. People, there we go. Right, we've got the Rob Zombie detailing on the front and this embossed spiderweb pattern, as you can see. It's also got a detachable wallet chain, which has got a hoop on it too. You were saying earlier that the, the chain isn't the easiest to get off, but then, I mean, I'd say that's a good thing. It takes, a, it takes you a couple of minutes if you're trying to deliberately want to take it off, but it means somebody can't just take it off and steal your wallet, you know? Yeah. It's vegan leather, because it's Killstar. So we have credit card, you know, slip bits. We've got an ID thing here and then the money pouch, which is there. So it doesn't have a coin thing, which if you, so you don't use this as an everyday wallet because you can't put coins in it. Um, they go in your pocket when they fall out. Yeah, so yeah. it's kind of a... And the kids go, yay, I found a pound. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you can't fit notes in it. You have to fold them. So there is, I mean, even with a fiver, there is just no way it just, it just, it just, it just doesn't fit. I, mean, I don't know whether in the States the the notes are smaller. I'm not really sure. I mean, twenty pound note is quite a big note, isn't it? But yeah, yeah but I, I mean, wonder whether a dollar bill is smaller. Yeah. I've never you know, been just, to the States, so I don't know. You can but, just fold it, um, and you know you can get them in the other side as well. So you just you just fold yeah. them up. It's an occasional wallet, yeah, yeah, rather than an everyday wallet. It, you know, it's great for a couple of cards, your ID, and yeah. a few notes. You know, yeah. it's not for having reams and reams of stuff in. No, so no, yeah, but. No. You know, it's, it's super cool. Yeah, yeah. Man. Yeah, yeah, The only the only thing that was an issue was the, the little this little part of the popper came off. Um, to show closer. So yeah, this little bit here came off. So that's the the female part. That's the male part. And uh, yeah, the male part came off, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. So um, I put a bit of super glue on it um, and it seems to have held fine since. Um, yeah, I mean, did that what, like less than a week after you yeah, got it? Very, very it? quickly but, afterwards, but yeah. But thanks. the super glue seems to have held it. I have to admit, I was like, if that comes off again in the next month, it's going back to Killstar. It has stayed on, hasn't it? Yeah, so, it has now, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. so yeah. So that is the men's Killstar haul. 
I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was informative, as I know there's not that many videos out there on the internet, so I hope that's given you an insight into a few Killstar men's pieces. Remember to uh, like this video, comment down below if you want to discuss any of the items, if you want to let me know whether or not you liked this kind of having a guest on video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, it really helps the channel and thank you to everybody that already subscribed. Hit that notification bell so you can find out every time I upload and remember people, stay heavy.